Oh baby, what's going on guys? It's the man, the myth, the legend, and as all you beautiful people do know, it is Father Sunday and my dad's here of course, so yeah, introduce yourself. Hey, what is up warriors? It's the Quad Father here, and I want to talk a little bit about COD Ghosts a little bit. Even um, though it's Battlefield 4 PS4 and, gameplay, well, what are you doing, man? Well, this is Battlefield 4, right? Yeah, it is. And that's one of the things I want to talk about, about COD Ghosts versus Battlefield 4 versus Rise versus GTA 5. I mean, Just you, over video games. Yeah, yeah. You you seem to be playing a lot more different games these days. Yeah, I'm not just sticking to Call of Duty Ghosts on the on let's say the PS4 because that's the main console I'm using right now. You know, I'm switching it up. I'm playing Rise. I'm playing Battlefield 4. I'm playing everything I possibly can, you know, really get my hands on just because okay. you know I'm I'm getting the feel for the which, new consoles, which man. is unprecedented in the world of Ghosts or oh, Call yeah. of Duty in the Call I mean, of Duty community. You people... don't know. You don't. You don't ever change games. Not really. No. No, and, and you never stop playing a game this quickly either. Uh, -uh. well, I'm not stopping playing. I'm not doing it because it's getting boring. I'm doing it because there are other games out there that are entertaining. So it's a good time to be a gamer because Titanfall, all those other <laughs> yeah, things are coming out. I mean, Watch Dogs, not for all the a while, rest actually. But yeah, Watch Dogs is pretty soon, actually. Yeah, yeah, and and Battlefield 4, that's a big one. Okay, so uh. there's there's a lot of fun games to play out there. And some are on the new console, some are on the previous consoles. Mm -hmm. Okay, Very so true. I'm just I'm just observing the fact that you're not sticking to Call of, or Call of Duty like you used yeah, to. Yeah, not, every not other just release. Call of Duty. Nope. Okay, I think I think MW3 is still your favorite. I got you. Oh yeah, always. <laughs> okay, now um, I've got five things I want to talk to you about volunteering for. You remember uh, on one of our previous episodes we talk about laying in bed for seventy days for NASA? And yeah, and making eighteen thousand dollars. Yeah, it was I some kind of money. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I found some other things you can do that aren't quite as cumbersome as laying in bed for for whatever seventy days <laughs> yeah. long. Okay. All right. All right. So let's start with the first one. I, I think you could do this one. Hmm. What let's if you it. ate? cupcakes four cupcakes every day for six weeks i feel like uh, could you do that i do it how much money do i get you get no you get four cupcakes a day that's what you get for free yeah no no that's not worth it what okay well it's a study that they're doing in britain on how it affects your actual weight you know that your your bmi and all it depends the rest on what you do though well if they, you're you and get up at the gym and go to the gym every day at 4 30 it's you know, it'd affect you, but it wouldn't really, like... Right, right. And also, you know, studying human behavior and, and things like that are hard to keep equal, right? How do you how do you make sure that they get the same amount of movement, same amount of sleep, yeah. same amount of, you know, all the other things that they're eating? If they do it in Chris, around Christmas, man, they're going to put on weight no matter what, even <laughs> if they aren't, eat, aren't eating yeah. the, the cupcakes. Uh -huh. So, okay, so that's one thing you could volunteer for. And, and like you said, you're only 14 years old, so, mm -hmm. you know, there's not a lot of things you can do to earn money. Yeah, you know, true. Not, not legally. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I guess there's YouTube, but you know, making which, all the YouTube money, right which now. is apparently going to become illegal. Uh, okay. Apparently, I mean, we, we don't really. I even don't know. know. You, know you you haven't gotten a, a letter from your partner. Uh, not network. from Machinima yet. So. No, they haven't. They haven't even addressed this, and it's around. Uh, the I hope they never address it, just in case you know, like it doesn't apply to Machinima, or it just doesn't apply in general. Uh, I hope I, it doesn't. I uh, we okay, hope it sure. doesn't. Of you course. could you could dream. One given the fact dream, that yep. given the fact they haven't talked about it, so that but that's a big change mm -hmm. coming up on on your channel. What it's it'll likely affect it. Yeah, most likely. Okay, so uh, here's something else you could volunteer. You could volunteer to live for a year in Canada. All right, I can do it. Out in the in the plains, like, like nowhere in the Nowheresville. Wait, do I have a house? No, there are actually people that are going to do this. Okay, they are going to tens of thousands of people applied to actually go to Mars. Oh. Okay. Now, do you realize when you go to Mars? Wait, what does that have to do with Canada? Because in order to test how you're going to react, they're going to put you in these little pods in, uh, in Canada for a year. For a year. Yeah, Wait, to, it's kind of part of their training. Just to like stay there, just in yeah. a pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to be like colonists. Okay, so two hundred thousand people. How big is a pod? Well, they're like a. Is it like two feet by two like feet? Connect, no, they're connected. They're. I, I mean, I can't tell by the perspective on the picture. Yeah. But it doesn't look very big. Let's say smaller than our house. Like well, we would, can put up a picture right now. So take a look at that. Okay. So yeah, it looks it looks like space. I mean, mm -hmm. it, there's but and it looks like little landing things. Anyway, so can you believe that many people? Two hundred thousand people applied to go to Mars. That's crazy. Okay. I, mean, it's a, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's a one way trip. Wait, really? You ain't oh, never coming back. Never mind then, no. Yeah, okay. So, the and the public is ultimately going to decide. This supposedly is going to happen in 2023. That's a long time away. Yeah, but so they, they actually have to go through, uh, and you can't apply. The application period is Aww. over. So even if you Dang wanted to it. go, you can't even go. Even if you guys wanted to do it, you can't no, now. No, no. My apologies. Yeah, and you have to be over 18. 
Okay, okay. so the next round, what they do after they get their applied, I mean, they applied and they've, they've gotten selected. Okay, so by the end of 2013, they'll know exactly who's going to do it. And then for the next two years, they're going to narrow down the, the, the people who are going to go live in these pods in Canada for astronaut training. They're going to have to have, actually have seven years of ast astronaut training. Well, what else do you do to train? Uh, um, you know, I, I, a lot of the normal astronaut stuff where you have to learn to live weightless, you have to eat the crazy food that they got to eat. Mm -hmm. You got to learn to poop in a suction bag or whatever mm -hmm. it is because, you know, no gravity is. So yeah. you got to poop in a special machine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah I, that Just that alone. I, it's is just not that I'm not going. I'm out. No, no, no. It, you I'm know, out, guys. Yeah. I don't want to pe get two people involved with my intimate uh, bathroom <laughs> habits. Yeah, you know? yeah. And if they're sucking the poop out of me. <laughs> Well, I, maybe I think you squeeze it out yourself, but yeah, you know, maybe. I, I don't know. It just seems a little, I, you know, I interested in being an astronaut in space, space not exploration, that interested. not to get my poop sucked out. Yeah. You know, it, it, it makes me <laughs> gag. And just, just thinking yeah. about it. Okay. So that's one thing you could do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's another one. How about if I paid you to eat Pringles? How many? No, <laughs> it's not a challenge. Oh, okay. It's actually what you do is you eat them into a microphone. Why? Because That's Pringles noise. want no Pringles want to have crisp sound because people believe the chip is better when it's crisper, so they paid people to eat a chip, it, a Pringles into a microphone to figure out how to which Pringle that they were making made the get best sound, so that people ultimately would think they were a better Pringle and buy more of them. It's kind of true. I can see why that would actually make a difference. Yeah, they paid people uh, five pounds. Now, it's for you British people, you know what that's equal. But but in America, it's about eight dollars and eighteen cents. Eight dollars to I'll do it. Why not? Yeah, just to eat Pringles. Now I'll they do it. now they didn't tell people you know that they were testing the sound thing because that would kind of bias a study. Oh, so okay. so they just sat in a room like a little phone booth and ate into a microphone, which you do all the time, actually. You eat in a phone booth. You don't <laughs> eat, eat in a phone booth. No, I eat into a microphone. <laughs> you, eat, you do, and your friends don't like it. Mm -mm. So that's something you could do. So we got the cupcakes you could do, but you won't. Um, mm -hmm. You got the Pringles. I'll do it. Okay, you're not going to go to Mars. I'm definitely not going to Mars. All right, here's one you can't do. Are you challenging me? Challenge accepted, all right. bro. Okay, a scientist is looking for a, a woman to give birth uh, I'm out. to a Neanderthal <laughs> baby. How do you do that? Well, it's uh, explain. It's, <laughs> it's it's a ver is a version of human cloning. So they would Ooh. clone the Neanderthal uh, DNA. Yeah. Or how, the how do they get that? But genetics okay, yeah. or whatever. You know, it's stuck in a rock. They carve okay. it out. It's. Do you ever see the movie Jurassic Park? Of course. Okay. Well, that that theory where they get the mosquito with the blood and they get the the genetic components and then they rebuild the dinosaur. Okay. Same idea. Only that he's going to do it with a with a human, and mm -hmm. he's going to ask for some lady to give birth to it. So wait, dragonfly babies? No, no, <laughs> this is Neanderthal <laughs> babies. Okay. Yeah. So that's so, weird. Yeah. I, I, yeah, it's really. Th weird. It hasn't been confirmed, but they that that the, 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 they'll let the scientists do it because in some countries it's actually illegal to do human you know, cloning. I, I'm not surprised. Wait, why? Why would it be illegal? Well, uh, I if want you could, human if clones. You could clone, I want another one of me. You, with, would you? With another me, imagine how many videos I could put out. And I imagine well, all my homework I'd never have to do. One of me could be, be at school. You. One of me could make in videos. Why? It wouldn't be you. I mean, it would be you, but it wouldn't be yeah. you, you. Yeah, I know, I know what you. you mean, but I'd rather have them So do you it. think you could be friends with, with yourself if you were, you know, if you Probably got not. a doppelganger or no. whatever? Mm -mm. Really? No, I don't like myself. I'm No, no. Oh, I could be friends with myself. I get friendly with myself all the time. I don't feel like I'd be that... No, you would, because you would be a good friend. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a good be, friend. Do you think you'd be too selfish? I'm a terrible friend. I'm very selfish. What? Really? No. No. I you're, don't know. You're a very giving friend. No. No? Nope. Well, you're with them all the time. Never. Can't even walk in the room. You're always on the on the Skype with all your friends <laughs> laughing and having a good time. <laughs> that's how. That's all I do. So, no, I think it would be cool. I don't know. Anybody, maybe some people out there have twins. Maybe that's cool. And, and, and so do you think you could be friends with, your, I mean, you'd be close with your twin, right? That's about the closest we can get right now without going clone. That's what you think. Okay. We, you, yeah, you don't know, man. You, right. Uh, well, think about what? it. Do you, if you were the government or a specific scientist who knew how to do uh -huh. this, would you really tell the public of all people? Uh, no. About cloning? No, you wouldn't. I guarantee we know how to do like five times the stuff that we don't think we know how to do already. Okay. I'm it's not no. Sure our, our, oh, I see what you're saying. Come they on. kind of keep it under wraps, keep it a secret. Oh, duh. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. I believe that. I, believe I guarantee that. the government has so many yeah, things in mind. Just like they're monitoring everything that we say. Oh, and, they, they and hear write. us right now, dude. Okay. Last What's one. Going real, on, Obama. Real quick. Hey, How you doing? Captain yeah. Obama. Yeah. All right. So, um, would you volunteer for $100 to be bit by a mosquito with malaria? No. Well, they monitor you. They heal you after six weeks and you have 102 fever. And no, everything. no. 100 it's bucks. 100 bucks. Oh, that's nothing. You know what that is I'm in pounds? 
That's like what, I've, like sixty-four oh, pounds. No, or I have something? no idea. This like, is not a math quiz. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's all I got. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what what things would you guys like to do. You know, there's multiple things to do. Go back in the video and watch. Volunteer. What would you like to do? Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Social media links in the description below. It's been Quadum FT and the Quad Father, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll see you on Mars.